I'm here at MakerCon with Dr. David Schneider, faculty member at Systems Engineering at Cornell. Tell me about what you were just talking about on stage. Well, thank you very much. Um, we worked on this uh, idea called uh, the Maker Pro Catalyst, which is basically how do you take all the energy and enthusiasm that, that a ma maker has and then be able to bring it to the next level of professional design such that not only are they creating something, but they're creating something that can make a real difference uh, in, in this world and a recognizable difference such that they can actually say, I can prove to you how valuable this, this design actually is at meeting this particular need. And so what, can, you, can you give a specific about you know, what there is to learn from making in the world of engineering? Oh, absolutely. Um, I think one of the important things that um, uh, you know, making has really embodies uh, the student spirit in that you know, students don't know that things can't be done, so they find a way to do them anyway. And, and the maker movement is all about that too. A lot of different people who are always challenging the rules, you know, try, trying to break them in, in, in new ways to do even you know, greater inventions uh, as a part of that. I think that that spirit of ingenuity uh, is a very, very important part of engineering. And a lot of people don't recognize how, how creative engineering really is, um, but it's, it's creativity where you have the opportunity to make such a large impact with that, that creativity. Can you tell me about some of the work the students are doing? Oh my goodness, uh, yeah, so we have uh, a fantastic lab, it's like 7,000 square, square feet, um, at least 400 students uh, a, a semester are, are working in, in that lab. Um, this past year we actually just built a first generation R2, D2, and C3PO. Uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> right. it's, it's really cool. Uh, I mean, so we don't just build it though just to be cool. I mean, that, that, that's, that's um, you know, that's fun, don't get me wrong, uh, but the, um, uh, we looked at at different kinds of curriculum gaps that we've noticed uh, you know, across the country, even across, across the world, and say, what's a project that we could develop that will really help students target those curriculum gaps and become even better at it? So R2, for, for example, uh, he's not just you know, a cool droid, he's actually our lab assistant. He can keep track of tools and does all kinds of database analysis. He does uh, different kinds of localization and mapping in our lab, he, and so he can actually do you know, path planning and, and all these elements, but we're bringing it to a level that um, not only our students could do it, but then teach other students to do it. And the large amount of the work that we do is not just to make that cool robot, but actually to build an example platform that a lot of people can build their own systems off of. So we like to say, you know, we're not just making, you know, that system, we're making all the other systems better. You know, that, that, that's what I think is, you know, a key element of the maker community, right? You know, that, that idea of helping each other out, you know, being real inventive, you know, seeing how we can, you know, raise each other up even higher. Uh, and so that, that's what we focus a lot on in our lab. You talked a little bit also about uh, the Cornell Cup. Can you tell me what that's about? Sure. Uh, it's actually the Intel Cornell Cup. Uh, it's, uh, Intel's been a fantastic partner uh, to, to work with uh, th throughout this. And this is an exciting competition. And in the, the maker spirit, uh, students are able to basically invent any embedded system that they want, as long as it features an Intel Atom, which is, is a great little powerhouse, um, a chip for, for them to use. But the thing is that they have to be able to say, what is the, the challenge that they're trying to solve? What is that real need that, that, that they're trying to meet? Then be able to describe their entry as to how it meets that need, uh, and then take it one step further say, here are the performance metrics I would use to evaluate any solution to that need, to that problem, and thereby I can actually prove to you that the design I've come up with is not only one of the best, but possibly the best solution to that need. It's, uh, yeah, so that, that level of professional design uh, that, that we enter into that has helped our students to create, you know, far more elevated projects, and I know from across, across the country, it's really exciting to, to see what they're able to develop. Um, we think it's a great launch pad for a lot of students. In fact, our winner two years ago, uh, which was a Titan arm from UPenn, uh, they made this really cool Iron Man like exoskeleton, I think that actually makes you stronger uh, for like physical rehabilitation, and they went out to win the James Dyson uh, Award for Engineering Design, or Design and Engineering, and uh, their first American group ever to do that. Uh, yeah, I mean, so that, that, that's what I mean by elevating that, that work. It's, it's really exciting. I can't wait to see what they do next. Great. Well, thank you, Dr. David Schneider, for coming to MakerCon and My talking pleasure. to us. And we'll have more videos about MakerCon on the YouTube channel, so keep watching.